this is um, in response to um, sea lions, Atlantis and the magic mushroom. It starts off with Terence McKenna rightly saying that a deeper communion with nature has been um, suppressed amongst us because of the prohibition of um, psychedelic substances. I completely agree with that. Because in my own experience, my own life experience, um, my first psychedelic experience it brought me back to nature in a dramatic way. So, you know, that's spot on. You know, I've actually lived this. And it spurred me on to uh, look into things, you know, to, to find out why things are like the way they are and try and explore what's what and, and everything, yeah. Now, after that, it goes into, the video goes into talking about Plato and Francis Bacon. And this is where it becomes insidiously hypocritical. I'm not going to go at Sea Lion. Right, not gonna go at you because I think what you're doing is great and very, very important. You're sort of like analysing this stuff and it exists, you know, so you have to see it. But what I'm trying to do is bring out, make aware of the the danger of this appropriation that's happened in, in history. Whereas I see it, a male, like I say, a male supremacist mindset, and I'll explain what I mean by male supremacist in a minute, has appropriated the goddess religious ethos, you know. By male supremacists, I mean that for the, for the woman, especially, She's very in tune with the body. Okay, she gives birth. Um, of old, women would menstruate um, in synchronicity with moon rhythm. You know, so women have always been naturally more like in tune, if you like, with the body. Okay, whereas men, on the whole, haven't especially men who became like warrior, warrior-like and began to separate or look down on any kind of feminine, femininity, yeah. And you can see this, you can see this in, in the attitudes, you know, of, of that mindset all over the place, you know, it's like um, Hitler and the Nazis hated effeminacy in people, you know. Um, youths who are homophobic or disrespectful to women, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it can be everywhere, in the endemic in, in society. So, <clears throat> Obviously, with with elites, you know, you get the same thing, but they make it into a kind of um, philosophy, and you have to you have to really examine right, these these myths and, and see what is being said. Like if you take Plato, um, we have Platonic dualism, where the body is is seen as less than the the soul, yeah, which has to tame the body. Okay, so you have this separation. Um, in his work, The Republic, you have this blueprint for this society that is totally controlled by males who are intellectually superior, philosophically, and the lead. And can't we see this now? You know, I mean, if you're familiar with uh, with Illuminati, um, Conspiracy theory, as they call it, 
but I mean in actual life you know it's becoming like you can't go anywhere without these cameras watching you watching you watching you it's like this control it's it's coming more and more and more right so you can see this mindset happening all around and this new Atlantis um, there's this film I saw two days ago that I really recommend how you paper and pen it's called it's a Google Videos. It's called the Seek. It's called Secret History of America. Hyphen the occult background. And it's really good. It's long. It's over two hours, but it's really good. Cool. It goes into Francis Bacon and about the Atlantis really in depth. Um, doesn't mention magic mushrooms though. You know, you have to watch Sea Lives videos for all the, the um, that angle in it. Uh, Francis Bacon. Do you think the fashion is the war then? You know, I mean, I don't know if anybody's done anything on, on this, but you see a lot of him, they, they used to wear these big collars like that, fancy collars. And to me, it's accentuating. The mindset is that is the head is separate from the body, so you've got like this idea of the intellect, especially humanism, and he was a major proponent of that, where the intellect becomes superior. Do you know what I mean? Instead of God now, and you know, like in the Bible, it's got um, woman is the glory of man, and something, and man's head is the glory of God. You know what I mean? So it's like this hierarchy. In humanism, you've got like the intellect, isn't it? It's superior to to nature, and his sayings. I have a book with with some of Bacon's sayings in Richard Capra's The Turning Point, where he speaks about subduing nature, treating nature like a slave, and slaving nature. Doesn't this conflict entirely with what? McKenna was saying right at the beginning, which communion, when you communion, commune with nature, you know what it's enslave nature. Right? My experience hasn't been like that. You don't want to enslave it, you work with nature. You respect nature. Right? The body has its own healing potential. You work with the body, you know, as you work with nature. And, and respect its intelligence but for Bacon it was like knowledge is power we've got this busy you know the the feeling I got from watching that film this busy 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 man you know going around all the time with his microscope and doing whatever I mean I don't know if they had a microscope around, but do you know what I mean it's like ruthless right? and then all ethics go out the window um, so, I'm just bringing this into awareness because I'm seeing this, this real hypocrisy going on, which was very highlighted in that, in that video, um, and, that is, and the magic mushroom, where it seems to be saying that this new Atlantis is wanting what Terence McKenna was implying. Right? This is deep respect for nature, when really, uh, is that is not is what's going on, and that is what I want to be. I want to bring into awareness about that. 